Hi guys, it's Jill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial for the fall, but this one's going to be really special because all the products that I'm going to be using are going to be under $15. You hear me? $15. Starting off with my brows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have this one in the shade Brunette and this one actually retails for $10 but it's on sales for $7. It's been on sale for a while now so check out Ulta. Um, you can definitely get cheap, get it cheaper there. This one is not super waxy and it definitely gives your eyebrows a very pomade look but still looking like a pencil. You can go with really like light brush strokes if that's what you like to do but I kind of like filling out my brows. This honestly used to be my holy grail brow product and then I discovered the Kiko Milano sculpting um, pencil that I've been using but this one is just so great and now that I've used it I might go back and use it again because I really really like it. I'm going to use this concealer by Flower Beauty as a base for my eyes. This one is called Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It retails for $9.99 at Ulta and this one is really really great. I think it's medium to full coverage but it does give you kind of like a really nice radiance under your eyes. Um, I'm using this one as a base for my shadows today and I think it works out really well as well. This is the shade light by the way. I didn't mention that. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I'm just going to be using this little beauty blender, beauty sponge. I'm going to be using this Sundown 18 color eyeshadow palette. This one is actually a dupe for the Desert Dusk from Huda Beauty. I really, really love this I one. I prefer the formula on this one a lot more than the Huda Beauty one, and it's honestly really, really good. This one retails for $12, and you can find this brand at Amazon. I'm going to start off with this red shadow right here, and I think this is going to be a gorgeous color. It's a little bit darker on my lids than it looks on the pan, but honestly, it's just really, really beautiful. I'm just packing this on. You can see right there like how rich the shadows are. I just think they're really, really amazing. But honestly, my eyes are so small that when I put a shadow down, it kind of goes on my whole lid. Can't really help that. It's just what happens. Just backing this on in a circle around my eye. My eyes are so cool right now. Like I really like this look and I don't think I have another shadow on this color. So I'm really excited. I'm taking this orange right here and I'm going to be placing this right over top of that red. I'm taking this one right here. So I'm taking this one in a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be blending this out. Alright, so I'm taking a break from that. I'm going back into my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer and I'm just going to be taking actually a flat brush and creating a semi-cut crease. I'm taking this NYX white eyeliner. This one is in white blank. And I'm just going to be following the outline of this cut crease. I'm going to be following with this shimmer right here and what I'll be doing is kind of carving out that crease one more time but with this shimmer. So let's start setting this down over top of that concealer. If you need more shadow, you can always just reach back onto your concealer, which is probably what I'm going to have to do.
Okay guys, that is as good as I'm gonna get it. This is always a struggle to use this white base. I haven't gotten um, just a hang of it. I'm gonna go back onto the red shade that we were using um, on our crease. And I'm gonna pack this on on the outer part of the eye. And then try to slowly kind of blend it out. So I don't actually have an eyeliner with this color, but I found a lipstick. This one is Gerard, from Gerard Cosmetics. It's not the exact color, it's like a brown, but I think if I put this on my lips as well, it's gonna like, you know, complement it all. This one is in the shade Boss Lady, and honestly, it's a really, really dark shade, but I think it might work. I'm taking this wing liner brush. This one is from Sigma, and I'm just gonna start making a wing liner. already looks darker maybe we can cover it up with some eyeshadow okay th I think that looks really cool I just think that it's missing kind of like an eyeliner per se so I might go in and do very very thin black liner and I'm just gonna be using the Hank and Henry I'm using Alright guys, it's time to take this off. I'm really excited. I think I really, really like it. I think it's going to turn out really cute once I put everything on. For primer, I'm going with the Water Drop Primer in Cucumber from Wet n Wild. This one retails for $4.99. You can find that at Ulta. It is cruelty-free, gluten-free, fragrance-free, vegan, it has hyaluronic acid, and it gives an instant, instant boost of hydration as it preps the skin for makeup. Okay, so it went a little bit heavy. But that's okay because this one is really, really moisturizing. And I just really like it. It also smells like super soothing. For mascara, I'm going with the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This one retails for $4.99. And these are super voluminous. I really, really like how this makes my lashes look. And I think it's really, really nice. And it plumps them up. The only thing I do not like is the wand because it's really big, but honestly, this Essence Mascaras, you guys have to try them because they're amazing. This look is super cool. I'm just going to keep moving. I'm going to be putting some lashes on. The that I picked are the Jacob Beauty EL42. These are really, really nice and wispy. They actually come with a glue, so you can find this at Ulta. They retail for about $4.50, so they're super affordable and expensive and really nice lashes. For foundation today, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have this one in the shade F10.5. I honestly feel like my shade is actually the 10, but it's okay because I'm a little bit more tan right now. But honestly, during the winter, this one looks very, very warm, warm on me. And even off camera, it looks really warm. This one retails for $12. And it's a full coverage foundation. It's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and oil-free. It says to swipe and blend out um, to wrap up the coverage for a real skin finish that the uses blemishes and an even skin tone. I couldn't agree more because this foundation actually wears for a really long time and it looks really really stunning. Going back into the Flower Beauty Concealer in the shade Light, I'm just going to be putting this underneath my eyes. This concealer is very very creamy and it goes a long way. I'm going to be setting all this with another foundation, but this one is a powder foundation. This one is a Jacob Beauty Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. It retails for $13.99. This is really good for balancing excess oil. It honestly holds up all day, and it's really, really nice for setting up your makeup because it does add a lot of cover to your face, and it honestly looks really, really nice. So I'm just going to be using this one in the shade Light Beige. Unfortunately, the shades on this one are a little bit tricky, so you have to kind of work with what you got. This one is not my perfect shade, but the one darker than this one doesn't really fit me so I just kept this one and I really like it and I really do recommend it and I'm gonna be using this wet n wild contouring palette and this one is caramel toffee so I'm taking the darkest shade over here this one is very inexpensive you can find it at any of your local drugstore it is really really good so I'm taking that darker shade and I'm just gonna be warming up my face It 
it is highly pigmented so just take this and put it very lightly just start really really slow and then build it up the next product is blush and this one is by Ella girl it is called the just blushing blush and just playful honestly i'm meaning to get these in all the shades because they're so affordable they're 5.99 and these are the best blushes. They're super, super powdery and super, super pigmented. And you don't need anything else that is not this. For highlight, I'm using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I think I found this one at one of the CVS's. It was about like 4 or $5. And the shade of this one is Golden Flower Crown. Honestly, the shade of this highlight is so beautiful and stunning. I really, really like it. So now we're almost done. I'm going to go back into my eyes, um, do underneath my eyes, and then we're just going to do lipstick, and we are golden. We're going back into the palette, and I think I'm just going to mix this red and this orange. So I'm going to take the same red brush that I was using and take it really close. Okay, that was too close. I kind of really like how that red looks. I might just leave it there. On the inner corner, I'm going to take the same shade that I put on my brow. So I'm just reaching for the same little brush. These shimmers are really, really nice. But honestly, when you apply them with your finger, they're even better. This palette really, really impressed me. If you're looking for something really good quality, whether it is drugstore or whether it is high this palette like really really impressed me with the quality if you're looking for something drugstore or high-end this is your palette i'm telling you this colors right here are like perfect for fall so get this palette and for lipstick i don't know if to go with this because it's going to be like super dramatic i feel like this look just needs a very subtle lip know why I keep going. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I hope you enjoyed this look. It honestly does not look like any of these products are under $35, $50. So I think this looks really, really stunning. I honestly, my I can see my lip moving in the viewfinder and I'm just like, <laughs> can this video be over? Everything is going to be linked down below, so be sure to check it out. Also check out my Instagram for some pictures, some videos, and a lot of content. I like this look. I feel like it's so different to anything I've ever done. I love the fact that I use that lipstick as an eyeliner and actually like match it and connect it really nicely. Um, I kind of don't mind the black eyeliner. I probably would have um, would have been okay without it. But honestly, I don't know how I would have looked if I didn't do the eyeliner. I think I just brought the eyeshadow out too far and then I just like felt like I was missing something. So I'm glad that I did it because I actually I think it looks really nice. This turned out to be kind of like a fall look. So maybe that's what this video is going to be because I was just going to you know play around with makeup and I wanted to use the white eyeliner. But this turned out super great. I really, really like it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And honestly, let me know below if you have any of these products, if you love them. Of all, of all the things that I use today, I really, really love all of them. But the one that I would recommend the most is the Sundown CC Color Eyeshadow Palette. You will not regret purchasing this. Trust me, it is so, so good. Just realized I totally used a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick just because I was like thinking like, oh my gosh, I need something of this color. And I completely forgot that the video is $15 or less. I'm so sorry, but please forgive me. I will try to use more lipsticks that are $15 or less on all my other videos like I always do. Okay, guys, so I fixed that by applying the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. And now I'm going to be applying this one from Brabalon. Um, this one is in the shade, this one is a lip gloss in the shade Snow Pink. And I think I really, really like it this way. I felt like the other lipstick was just not me and it was too much for me. So this is good. If you are more on the neutral side and you like this kinds of looks, this is the lipstick for you because this is the lipstick for me as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. As always, everything is going to be linked down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe 
It's really easy and quick. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!